Hi, Chris Matthew here from XRPanet, the XR Spatial Web Company. I'd like to demonstrate how Adobe Aero plus XRPanet could become the Instagram of the real world. Let's check it out. Okay, I'm playing with Adobe Aero uh, outdoors, right outside of uh, my home. And uh, I created a little robot scene. He's got a little bookshelf with him. Uh, I'm gonna put him right there outside my home. There he is, he looks happy. And uh, we'll pin him to this lat long in XRPanet. Okay, so I exported the robot using a USDZ format. I used Adobe Dimension to convert USDZ to GLTF. And then uh, we use the XRPanet API to pin uh, a GLTF, uh, the robot GLTF, to this lat long uh, right in front of my house. So if I hit send, there we go. Now we have um, uh, an XR Cloud representation of the robot anchor um, pinned to uh, the lat long. Okay, now that we pinned the Adobe Arrow content uh, to a lat long, uh, now I can load XRPNet's browser on my Mac or via Oculus or Quest and go in to a specific address which will correspond to uh, a lat long and I can teleport in VR to this address and sure enough there's the uh, Adobe Aero scene uh, my robot and the bookshelf uh, in VR so I mean, if you kind of look around, this I live at the end of a, a dead end, uh, not a whole lot of houses around, but there's a water tower over here, there's other homes right here, and here's my home. It could be a little bit higher fidelity, but that's a block structure representation of my home based on open street maps. And there is the Adobe Aero robot uh, right out front. Okay, so I stepped outside and I'm on my iPhone uh, Safari web browser. Uh, looking at the XRPNet browser, and as you can see, there's something, there's a pin, uh, an arrow pin in the middle of my vicinity. If I zoom into reality mode, you'll see there's two black dots. One black dot is me physically here. The other black dot is my VR friend who's teleported to join me. So if we zoom in to reality mode, it should start asking us to approve a couple of permissions like um, uh, the mic and camera access. Okay, so as we look around, there is the Adobe Aero content pinned outside of my home as we had it originally through XRPNet. And if we look around here, you'll see the avatar of my um, VR experience teleported into the real world. So now you have both VR and AR uh, able to communicate at, a, at an exact uh, lat long and interact with Adobe Aero content, the Instagram of the real world. Okay, well, hopefully you're just as excited as I am, as this could be the beginning of the Aeroverse. Not only digital content uh, being able to it, it be experienced in XR, both VR and AR, and users being able to interact as, as avatars. Imagine higher fidelity avatars, like life-size avatars, Imagine IoT devices uh, being able to communicate in real time with content, sensors, actuators, etc., robots. Um, this is the beginning, and uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what a higher fidelity implementation of this looks like with seamless uh, Adobe Aero integration. So stay tuned.